Hi, Krishan Panchal here. Let's begin with the Green Plum session one today. Our first step is to go through the installation process, which is made up of a master four segment hose. In this tutorial, we will be using VMware Workstation and tools like Putty, WinHCP, and Notepad. We are going to install the latest version of Green Plum database. Each step is described in the notepad here. The notepad will be shared in the link below. We are going to create 5 virtual machines with Rehel 8. Download the Rehel 8 from Red Hat official website. Try to work with the stable version and download Rehel 6, 7 or 8. The procedure will be same for all the OS version with little bit of difference. Rehel 8 has already been downloaded to my desktop. Let's begin by creating a virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation Pro. Here go to File, New Virtual Machine. Select the ISO file. Click on Next. Let's just set the username as GPRM and password. Let's name this virtual machine as GP Master Host. Determine the disk space as per your hardware configuration. We will going to configure size of RAM and the core count which will be used. So here as per your laptop or desktop or workstation configuration you have to select it. I will try to use good hardware so I will be able to work on each features Green Plum database has. I am using Ryzen 3900 XT, 128 gigs of RAM and Samsung 980 Pro NVMe and RTX 3080 Ti. Plan your installation as per your desktop or laptop or workstation hardware configuration or go with a single node installation. We are going to fast forwarding the installation process. After the installation is complete, we'll log in and register the system with Rehel. Login as GP admin and the password which we have set. We have two user first as default root is there and we have created GP admin at the time of installation. Click on register software. Click on register. Here enter your credentials. Authenticated. And the system is registered. You can also use this CLI command if you are on an older version. Login is root. We'll prepare our operating system environment for Green Plum database software installation. Set the host name of the master and verify it. Same we have to do for the other segments also. And we'll restart the machine. Follow the same procedure of installation for all other hosts like segment hosts. And we'll quickly note down all the IP addresses. Now 
now we are going to update the OS parameter first we are going to touch slash ETS slash host file we already noted down all the IP addresses of all of our segments as well as master first we will update this uh, IP tables update slash etc slash host file then we will move to systemctl.con file and update parameters as per the system configuration or like host configuration also we are going to update limits.con file and the se linux config file for all the green claim database hosts the system running on rehel or centos se linux must be disabled All these tasks should be performed on all hosts in your Green Farm database array, master, standby, and segment host. The sysctl.con parameter listed in the topic are for the performance, optimization, and consistency in the wide variety of environment. Change these settings according to your specific situation and setup. Set the following parameters in the slash etc slash security limits.con file. If SE Linux is not disabled, disable it by editing the slash etc slash SE Linux slash config file as root. Well, change the values of the SE Linux parameter in the config. You should also disable firewall software such as IP tables on system with real 6 or center and 6, firewall D on system such as real 7 or center 7, or UWF on Ubuntu system disabled by default. If you decide to enable IP tables with Green Plum database for security purposes, check our website. Uh, to enable the IP tables optionally. Disable firewall on all other segment hosts. Copy all the config files to all other segment hosts. We'll be downloading the green term binaries from VMware website. Let's just open the link. And from here, the scroll down menu, you can see many releases you are able to download. We are currently going to install 6.22.1. Update our link. and the file name you also have to update your token from VMware you can go to your profile and check generate the token now copy this command and like paste it in your master host cd to gp admin home directory We'll execute our wget command which we have prepared. Once binary is downloaded, we are going to push the binaries to all other segments also. Once binary is downloaded, we'll HCP the downloaded binary to all other segment hosts. And start the installation.
you can use yen command for real or for ubuntu you can use apt get we'll quickly install the green plum binaries to all other segment hosts also a uh, note you should be logged in as root to install the green plum binaries Once the installation done, we are going to copy CLI help GP configs folder to our home directory and give the ownership to GP admin. Execute the source command and type with GPSSH. Now you are able to see green plum database install directory hence our green plum database binary installation is successfully completed verify same on the all segment host also give the permission to gp admin for to make sure the green plum software was installed and configured correctly then the following confirmation step from your green plum master host if necessary, correct any problems before continuing on to the next task. We are going to add the source command and the export command for the master data directory to .bashrc as well as bash profile on all other VMs. We are going to update .bashrc as well as bash profile and we'll restart the VMs. We will restart all our master, sandbar and segment host. All our OS parameters which we have changed will be applied. We will login as GP admin to set up the passwordless SSH. The GP admin user on each green plum host must able to SSH from any host in the cluster or any other host in the cluster without entering a password or a phrase. Verify whether patch profile is working or not. Now we are going to generate public and private RSE key pair and we'll copy it to all other segments. Use the SSS copy hyphen ID command to add the GP admin user's public key to the authorized host SSS file on every other host in the cluster. Test whether the passwordless SSH is working or not. Once it is working, let's cd to the GP config file which was there at our home directory. We'll create two files here: all host file, which will contain master host name as well as the segment host name, and the second one will be the segment host name, where only segment host name will be there. Save the files. Now we are going to execute gpsss-ex keys.
once the passwordless ssh is configured we are going to start creating folder first we have to create the master folder then we are going to execute gpsss command and like uh, create the folders on the segment host Folder creation is successfully done. We are going to edit the GP init system config file. First, we will update the path for the primary host folders for us. It's at slash home slash GP admin slash data one and data two. Set the master host name as master. Update the path for the master home directory. Uncomment the mirror parameter. And set the folder location for mirror also. In the optional parameter, uncomment the machine list file and update the file name which we have created for the segment host. Machine list file will contain all the names of the segment host. Once done, verify all the configuration are proper as per the requirement. Now we are good to init the GP system. We'll execute the GP init system command and pass our config file. We have kept all the other parameters as default. You can check our website for more details. Our installation is successfully completed. You can cross check it via executing PS12 Postgres or you can execute gp state hyphen e to check the status of all the master and segment hosts and start your journey with green plum for more features and command please check out our vmware tons of green plum website for green plum database guide as well as the administrator guide Please let us know in the comment below if you are facing any error and check out our website and social media accounts for more info.